In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the ESP32 camera module with the Flipper Zero. And you will see my idea on how to build a shield for the Flipper Zero, including the ESP32 camera. So stay tuned. My advice here differ from the original tutorial. I will recommend you to buy an ESP32 camera with indeed the module and this shield here. So what this shield is going to allow you is to connect via a micro USB cable the ESP32 camera to your computer. But also, if you are tired to use the ESP32 camera with the Flipper Zero, and you want to use it with other projects, it will make it really handy to power the ESP32 uh, module. In fact, with its uh, micro USB um, port, you could just use an old camera charger and that's it. So just for this reason, I think it's nice to have a um, shield of course not mandatory because if you use this uh, ESP module without the shield you will need your flipper zero with the UART application to flash it so it's really up to you I don't think there is much um, difference in the price here but I definitely recommend this. Let's focus into the end goal here. Thanks to Zalan, the original developer for the Flipper Zero camera application, we are going to flash the ESP32 and use his application on the Flipper Zero to achieve this. So we could like have an overview on what's going on with the camera and also take picture with the Flipper Zero. Next step is to flash the firmware on the ESP32 camera module. So here, according to the original tutorial, you are using your Flipper Zero with the GPIO pin connected to the module. But as I said earlier, it is easier for me to use the shield here connected to the module. Once I've done this, I'm going to connect with the micro USB cable. On the right side, it's always better. Okay, once I've done this, I'm going to use Arduino with the application and I'm going to hit upload. I'm compiling here the sketch here, so all the code and it's going to upload it to the module. So here I already did like all the step here before because it's kind of taking some time and I don't see why you're not going to be able to do this. Okay. So it's basically here um, selecting like the board with the correct module. Here we could see it is already flashed. Okay, done uploading and now it's going to reset the module. So the only way to see now if it's fully working is to connect the module to the Flipper Zero using the pins. So now we have like the ESP module flashed we are going to prepare the wire. Here, I will recommend to have like 
a female to male um, breadboard pin. If you don't have, you could use a female female that is more common and then a male male pins. Okay? But here I don't want to have like so long cable and I have some spares of them. So let's use them to connect the VCC, the ground, the TX and RX cable. Okay? After the wiring, that's how we should uh, looks like at your site. So here using like the three, the three volt and ground and RX and TX. So here, like you are basically connected using URT serial um, connection to the module. And as you can see, it's a bit loose, even like with a rubber band, you could like bring it closer to the pin, but it's not really stable, right? Here, some people, even like the developer use then uh, a clip that's look, uh, way better, um, more sturdy, but I still think there is way to, to improve it. And I'm going to show you what I have thought about. So the flipper zero and its camera make me nostalgic about the Game Boy camera. For me, it's the same spirit. It's an additional module that you could bring and plug when you want to take picture or have fun because back in the days, the Game Boy camera, you have this card bridge, the camera could rotate 180 degrees, you have a printer, so many possibilities. So with the Flipper Zero, instead of like having your camera like not really attached, I have like an idea. So I went on Printable and look on Enclosure for the ESP32 module. So here, really something small that you could like use to kind of rotate a bit, not one uh, 80 degrees, of course, but still something. And I wanted to integrate it with like a shield or protection for the Flipper Zero. So I end up like finding this module um, from this like uh, maker. Unfortunately, this has commercial license, which do not allow you to modify and distribute the change. So here I kind of use the idea here of like having the module uh, from a TPU and I fusion it. So that's what I come with. So it's far from being perfect. Back in the days in high school, I used to work a lot on SOLIDWORKS and here Fusion 360 is really different from what I used to. And I definitely like need help. And even um, I will say, I will be happy to share the file, of course, here and have suggestion and even idea to, to, to make it better. So that's what I come with. So you have like your, your flipper zero and the camera module that you could rotate here. So it's not fitting perfectly the flipper zero. Of course, you have also like all the cable here that are like still hanging. So not perfect, but hey, um, I, I just want to, to make a call here for, for people that are motivated to, to work with me and make this thing uh, better because I, I'm sure I'm not the only one to have an idea to, to make it um, uh, an, a nice module with a shield. So let's, uh, let's work that together. Thank you for watching and I'm waiting for your suggestion.